today. Gonna be there about an hour. It's gonna be a good day. So, here we are, heading into the Siamese Ponds Wilderness. A little under a three mile hike to where we're going. Probably make a little camp and then see what the day brings. Look at that, no tracks. One of the first ones in here. Hey, yeah, got a nice young yellow birch here. Lots of good fuzzy tinder stuff here. Winter is such a great time to be out collecting tinder because everything is so dry. Yeah, there's a lot of snow around and stuff and you think a lot of things would be wet. But naturally speaking, winter is very, very dry with the air. Yep. And tinder is just ready to burn. Yep. Really good stuff. So if you get the chance, you know, get out there and start collecting some tinder now and save that stuff for summer. Now when you're harvesting birch bark, only take the fuzzy stuff on the outside of the tree. Don't ever go cutting into this and peeling off pieces of bark because that, that is really bad for the tree. It will kill it. That is fine. Take that off. It's not going to hurt the tree at all. Yeah, because once you open that tree up, it makes it really susceptible to disease and they'll die off pretty quick. And we don't want to do that because birch trees are our friend for an obvious reason. This is a prime example of why you should not peel birch bark off a living birch tree. This birch is dead. stuck in the snow. Should I help him? <laughs> no, this is too entertaining. I'm gonna hang out here for a little bit. You wanna set up camp right here? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> All right, we're going off trail here. We're gonna find a spot to make camp. Devin's in the lead here. Yeah, great, great idea. Just, he's always sitting down. I, I don't know what's going on. I'm praying. Oh. All right, this looks like a good spot. We got a nice little bench here. Good flat area. Kind of out of the wind a little bit, so gonna pack the snow down here. So we got a good spot to make a fire. There's some nice standing dead wood. And it's hardwood too. A lot of what we were just collecting there is pine, which burns nice, but we're cooking some food, so nice to have some hardwood. All right, let's get it down. So you can tell it's dead. All the bark's coming off, so no need to cut down live trees. <laughs>
Devin's doing some fire prep. All right, we're gonna do a little test here of folding saws. My Corona folding saw versus, versus my Baco Laplander. I jumped out of the thing. <laughs> I think that was pretty fair. <laughs> Operator error has nothing to do with it. <laughs> In all fairness, I was warmed up from using the saw. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> While Devin's finishing up the firewood there, I'm going to get started on some food prep. We're going to have a little bit of venison that he brought for lunch. And I brought some bannock mix. This is some garlic parm bannock mix that I made up at home. And I got a couple carrots, an onion, and a couple potatoes. So I'm gonna peel these up, chop them up, get them going. These are gonna take a lot longer to cook than that venison will. Oh yeah, coffee too, can't forget coffee. Now I'm going to put the bannock together. A lot of people say to make the bannock in the bag, put your water in here, mush it up. I've done that a few times. It's a real pain in the butt and your hands get super messy. So you can do it that way. But if you can bring some sort of bowl or a little pot or something to mix it in, it's just going to make life a lot easier for you. Oh, I'm going to put about half. I'm going to put a little less than half in here. That way I have a little powder left over still. Just in case I put too much water in, I can always add more flour, but I can't take water out. So keep that in mind. Just add a little bit at a time. I don't want too much. See that? Way too goopy. Definitely need to add flour. Don't need any tree bark in there. So you're just gonna mix this up until it's to uh, a bread-like dough, kind of dry consistency so it's easy to form there we go that's much better still a little doughy see if you mix it with your hands it gets all over them now I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on my hands And 
that's going to help it not stick to my hands as much. One nice bit of bannock dough. So you're going to set that aside for a few minutes so it can rise a little bit. There is some baking powder in here, so it'll help out. See, even with a little bit of flour, it still makes messy hands. So bring a bowl if you plan on making bannock. Just going to make one more of those, then we're going to get cooking. Fire is almost ready. Got your homemade fire steel there? Yeah, it's my homemade fire steel I made out of a 35 Remington casing with a 3 8 rod. Nice. Yep. This is the, kind of the prototype. I've been trying to beat this one up, make sure that it's going to stay in there. Yeah. And then uh, I could either leave that open as a lanyard hole or I've got T-handles, a uh, quarter inch brass rod that I, I could put there through there for a T-handle. They're pretty sweet. I actually sold one to a guy yesterday. Oregano and basil, cumin. I think it's cumin. <laughs> Sticking a little. Oh, look at that food. up the venison. Nice seconds. I don't think there's gonna be leftovers. <laughs> <laughs> you want to say a little prayer? Sure. Um, God, we just want to thank you for this awesome Sunday that you've given us. Couldn't ask for a better day. Uh, it's an amazing adventure to be able to get out here with a, my new friend here, Adirondack Badger. Soon we're gonna be becoming an old friend. Um, and, Really, this is just absolutely amazing. And uh, we thank you for the food that we have in front of us. Uh, thank you for being able to harvest this deer and uh, provide some, some awesome grub here. Pat, thank you for bringing the rest of the stuff, the bannock and your hard work making that. I know it's a messy job. Awesome, thank you very much for that. And uh, God, thank you very much. Amen. Amen. Way better than the last batch I made. <laughs> it's, it's pretty good. It really is. Move it a little closer. That's your Yeah? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that meat. Delicious. All right, that's it. Starting to get dark. We need to pack up, head back out. Hope you liked the video. Let me know down below. Give me a thumbs up. We'll see you next time.